The first step is to go to Avenue Balcony Grace. And that is in Lindendale, Royal Capital. Then you wanna take this path here onto the road and then go down into this water well. There's a ladder you can uh, slide down. You can also jump down if you want. And near the bottom of the ladder is a gate you wanna open. And this allows you to access the underground area of Linendale. There's a ladder here you can go down. And it gets kind of dark so you want to be prepared with a torch or a lantern as a light source. I am going to use a lantern. And you just want to follow this path to a wooden door. Now just follow this path, uh, go down here, there's some rats here. Uh, you can avoid them and just open the door in this uh, tunnel here and that will take you to the subterranean shunning grounds and there is a monster below you can use range attack and basically after you have killed the uh, monster you can go down and there is a grace called underground roadside grace that you want to activate and here is the location of the map of the underground roadside then you want to uh, turn left and then go right down this uh, ladder here uh, we want to go to uh, the other side of a gate that uh, we were in and that gate allows us to access a different area from the grace uh, area that we were in there is a shadow bait you can get here uh, this video will show opening all the main gates that you can access now we just went around and then we can access this lever here which when you pull it allows you to open that gate. I am dodging the fire of the, the monster there. So after we open this gate, we go back to the grace area. And now we want to go to uh, another area behind another gate. And want to go down this hole here. And this goes down to the aqua deck and you can turn right not at this area but the next hole the next tunnel you can uh, enter and from here you want to also light up your lantern or torch and you just want to follow this path you don't need to attack but you want to avoid two holes there's one that was over there there's another one coming up uh, you want to avoid that hole it's just right above uh, this area here look on the ground there's a hole you want to avoid that one too okay then you want to go straight and then turn right here at this open gate here then you want to follow the path shown and just keep going down here and there's a monster that will hop down after it hops down you can climb up the ladder and from here, the wooden door will not open unless you open the gate. So what we did, we went through that whole path is to be able to get behind this large gate and open it. This allows us to go to this place from the grace we activated before. The grace is through there. Now, opening that gate will unlock a wooden door that we tried to open before. So now this door you can open. Just open it and go through. And you want to hop down to the left here. Turn around and then go down. You can attack this for a price. This dumb beetle it gives you a somber smithing stone. Go down the stairs here, get the string, turn right, and then uh, turn left here. And just follow the path because we want to go to another wooden door. 
So you wanna turn left here, go down. Uh, there's some poisonous flowers here. I'm gonna go through this gate and turn left. And turn right here. And you wanna avoid that frog looking creature. Keep going, turn right here. There is a monster and there's a ladder he is guarding. Deal him away from the ladder so you can go back and climb it. If you don't deal him away, he'll just attack you from the ladder and fall down. Okay, now we are able to open the wooden door that's near the place. So now when you die, you can quickly go through this door. We did all that so that we are able to go directly through this door. So now we want to do is you want to go inside the aqueduct by turning right here. And then uh, you want to avoid these jumpers. You want to go down the aqueduct, but first we need to go up here. And you can turn left and then slowly uh, hop down. Stay to the right and hop down. Then you want to jump up to this platform and turn right in the tunnel there. Okay, from here if you look down, you should see a hole that you can go down into the aqueduct. It is very dark here, so this is another area you should have a light source or a lantern ready, like a torch. And then you want to follow this path. Now turn left here, turn left here again immediately and then go down and what you want to do here is you want to turn right and then go straight now you want to go down this hole here and then avoid the guy who will attack you from behind now let's double back and continue the same direction and go down now there is a lift we want to go to and this lift will uh, go all the way down to the area near a puzzle we need to solve. So let's go down here. Now the goal of this video is to get to the three fingers and he will imbue you with the flames of frenzy. And this allows you to have a secret ending. It's called the Lord of the Frenzy. Flame. Once you go down the stairs, you can activate the Forsaken Death's Grace. Here it is on the map. Okay, from here you want to get some good armor and you want to have some good spells unless you are very good with melee. That boss is called Mo the Omen. I'm using a Mimic Tear or tank while well, I attack with spells. Now, I will skip the fight. So after you defeat the boss, you want to activate the Cathedral of the Forsaken Grace. And here it is on the map. Now you can open the chest here. And it is the Earth Tree Favor plus one. Now behind the chest is a hidden wall that you can destroy just by jumping at it. It will lower it, allows you access to the deeper chambers. Now we can go down and go to the puzzle area I mentioned earlier. And here is the puzzle area. You need to jump down on the beams and on protruding slabs of stone. If you are having difficulty solving this area, just follow the exact path I am going. Now basically these are just normal jumps. So if you see jumping, just head in that direction and then jump. If not, just Tap the direction until you fall down. 
There's only two places where you need to do a special move. Uh, for example, there's one where you uh, need to roll. And here is the first one. You just want to roll down forward. Okay. Here is another regular jump. You want to go down. And then another roll you can do here to get the inescapable frenzy. Okay, from here you can go inside. Now there is a shield, it's called the fingerprint stone shield. It's a pretty good shield so you should get it. Okay now let's go back and go to a lower level. So turn left, go straight, turn left again here. And down here you want to turn left again. We are going lower now. At this level you can safely jump down. Now if you jump down on the floor here, you will break through and then go down into this floor here full of rubble. Now you can activate the Frenzy Flame Proscription Grace. So there are four graces we have activated in this video. Here's the fourth one. Now we are very close to our destination, the three fingers. Now you need to remove all your armor to allow you to be able to open the door. So we are removing all the armor and equipment. Now we can open this door. The door to the three fingers. Now once you open the door, you will see a cutscene of three fingers imbuing you with the flames of frenzy. And this allows you to have the secret ending called Lord of the Frenzy Flame. Okay, now after the three fingers did that, you can see that your body now has marks, burn marks, and you can see the eyes are glowing. Now I turn on the lantern, you can see that there's a dead end here, so what you need to do is just fast travel out to another grace and you should be out of there. I am going to the first step. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give video a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.